morning. This is Tom at the Tractor Rescue Ranch. I am sitting here at my desk. This is where I do all my editing. I got a big flat screen TV for the monitor because my eyes aren't very good anymore. I hate wearing glasses when I'm doing this kind of work. But anyway, it's kind of cold outside, so I thought I'd bring this carburetor in and put it together inside. My tractor parts finally showed up that I had ordered. They were a week late. We got the confirmation that it was out for delivery and then it was a full week before they showed up. So I guess just due to bad weather. Anyway, I've got all of the old parts laid out there. I've got my new kit that I bought laid out all of the o-rings and gaskets and stuff for where they belong what I did here yesterday I painted this old carburetor it had a little bit of red paint on it in a few spots when I was cleaning it up and so I Painted it so it'll look nice. Be probably the only shiny thing on the whole tractor. But what I also did when I was painting it, I just took some cotton swabs and stuck them in all the holes to keep the paint from getting inside of it. And had the bottoms and the tops taped off so that the paint didn't get inside. So I am going to start assembling this I bought the second to the best kit that they had my butterfly valves down here are just fine I didn't figure I needed them and then these little brass seals bearings that are in there what there is that's that's really nice and tight so I didn't get one of them in the kit. This, there's a little felt thing that's supposed to go in before you put that in, but I'm not gonna pull that old one out since it's not being replaced. So it's just a matter of putting things together in the reverse order that it was assembled in or taken a so I've got a little touch of grease here I'm just going to lube these up a little bit before I stick it in there And that's in place. You can see right there that idle control comes down and hits on that pin right there. So you got to make sure you get everything on it the right direction. So then we can just put our butterfly valve in place. And there's new screws that came in the kit, so I'll use some brand new screws in here. These little tiny screws are hard for a guy like me with big fingers to handle. Got a magnetic screwdriver here and that really helps.
So there's the throttle valve. That's all in place now, ready to go. Okay, next I am going to get this jet in here. And don't make the same mistake I just made. There's two different sizes of jets here. And I stuck the smaller one in there and it fell past the threads and I couldn't get it back past the threads so I had to run out to this workshop and put some compressed air to that side to push that back so that I could get it out. So make sure you put the right size jet in there. And then you can take your Venturi and the gasket and put that on. Now this Venturi's got two different <coughs> two different sizes on it, and so you need the small end up as you're putting it in this so that it can go into the recess on this bottom part. So just put that down in there like that. So now I am going to put this seat for the needle valve in. It's got a little gasket there. It goes and then you need a pretty good size screwdriver, pretty wide one so that it'll go across that and catch both sides of it. Then the little needle goes in. And from there, the floats go on. That little bar between them. And that's supposed to be, according to the book, the floats are supposed to be a quarter inch up. They look like perfect, just like right out of the book. They look perfect a quarter inch. So that should have the carburetor level in good shape. Okay, the next step is there is a little jet that goes down inside here. It goes underneath this emulsion tube and it's really fiddly here. So I'll get it put in and then we'll go on from there. Okay, there's a gasket right there.
So from there, uh, I guess it's time to put the choke on. And I am going to put a dab of grease on that shaft like I did the other one. So this spring is to keep your choke so that it doesn't flat closed while you're on it. So put the spring on that little shaft, the other piece goes on there. So then the butterfly valve this has got a spring on it with a little deal that will open there. And you've got to get that shaft in between there. Kind of a pain in the butt. But So I just stuck a little screwdriver in there to open that gap up a little bit to help me get it started. Okay. Slid into place now. So from here, all you got to do is get it lined up just right and get these little screws dropped into place. Okay, finally got that butterfly for the choke in there. Took me a whole bunch of fiddling with them little screws. There's pretty hard working in that deal. So from here I'll put my plug in the bottom. Got a little bit of a touch of silicone on those threads just to make sure they don't leak. Then marry the two halves together. Put, put my four screws in.
the nut adjuster goes right in there screw it all the way in and then back it off to start with here just back it off two full turns we can do some fine adjustment when it's running a little bit later and then the idle jet or valve whatever you call it needle goes right here in the side just seat it down and then I'm going to back it off one full turn until we get it running for fine adjustments and then we've got the fuel where the fuel goes in I'm going to touch those threads with just a little bit of silicone as well I didn't get a new one of them with that kit so I've made sure the screen is good and clean so it doesn't plug up from the gas but So that turns in and you just need to make it pointing up. I've still got quite a bit of room here before it tightens up real tight. So I'll go around there again. There's their gasket to where it goes on to the manifold. I've got a couple lock washers. And a couple of nuts. So there is supposedly a new carburetor if I've done everything right. So there are a lot of really good videos online. I would suggest watching some of them rather than going off this for a rebuild on them. And some of those people did a lot better job of a video than what I just did. But anyway, that ought to be the start of it all. Should be pretty much a new carburetor now. And thanks for watching.